Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're experiencing no sound, choppy audio, or the other person can't hear you during WhatsApp video calls after updating your iPhone to iOS 26, you're not alone. Many users are facing voice issues during calls, but the good news is, it's usually easy to fix. In today's video, I'll walk you through for simple and effective solutions to fix WhatsApp video call voice problems on your iPhone. Let's dive right in. Solution 1. Check microphone access for WhatsApp. If WhatsApp doesn't have permission to use your mic, audio simply won't work. Go to Settings. Scroll down and tap on Privacy and Security. Then tap on Microphone. Make sure the switch next to WhatsApp is turned on. If it's off, toggle it on and try calling again. Solution 2. Disable Bluetooth temporarily. Your iPhone might be routing audio to a paired Bluetooth device. Go to Settings. Tap on Bluetooth. Turn Bluetooth off and try the video call again. This ensures audio uses your phone's mic and speaker. Solution 3. Update WhatsApp to the latest version. Outdated versions of WhatsApp may not play well with iOS 26. Open the App Store. Tap the search icon. In the search bar, type WhatsApp and tap search. If you see an update button next to WhatsApp, tap it to install the latest version. If it says open instead of update, then you already have the latest version installed. Updating WhatsApp often fixes bugs, improves performance, and ensures compatibility with the latest version of iOS. Solution 4. Reset Network Settings This can fix deeper connectivity issues without erasing your personal data. If you're still facing voice issues, it might be caused by a network or connectivity problem that built up during the iOS update. To fix that, open Settings. Tap General. Scroll down and tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Reset. Tap Reset Network Settings. Enter your iPhone's passcode. Again tap on Reset Network Settings to confirm. Your phone will restart and refresh all your Wi-Fi and network configurations. Don't worry, this won't delete your apps or personal data. And that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more quick tutorial and iPhone tips.